Today, I am super excited to celebrate one of my very favorite holidays, Halloween, with three spooky treats. I'm gonna show you my ghastly ghost meringues, my mummy cake pops, and finally, some graveyard popcorn that is to die for. Let's get started with our ghost meringues. I love these little guys because they are adorable and also super delicious. They're also really easy to make. Now, you'll want either a stand mixer or a hand mixer for this job. It would be very tricky to do this by hand. So, for this recipe, we are starting with four egg whites. Now, ideally, you want these at room temperature when you get started. That's just gonna make your life a little bit easier. The best way to separate an egg is just honestly going back and forth between the two until you've got the yolk left over in the shell and then the white in the bowl. Don't throw your yolks away. They are delicious for so many things, especially one of my very favorite things in the world, hollandaise sauce for eggs benedict. But on to our meringues. So we're gonna put our egg whites into the bowl of our stand mixer and using the whisk attachment, we're gonna start to get these frothing. Once they've begun to froth, we're going to add some sugar. We're adding one cup of sugar to four egg whites. But the real secret to a successful meringue is actually cream of tartar. Now you can find this in your baking section or at your bulk food store. We're adding half a teaspoon and this just really helps those egg whites set up beautifully. What we're looking for are stiff peaks to form. And you say a special thank you to your stand mixer. When we talk about stiff peaks, that's what we mean. We are basically just going to put our mixture into a piping bag and then pipe out these adorable little dollops that actually resemble ghosts. The best way to form these guys is by putting a lot of pressure on your icing bag and then releasing the pressure and then putting a lot of pressure again. That's how we form these sort of staged little designs. Once you've got your adorable little ghosts formed, you're going to put these in the oven at 225 for between 40 and 50 minutes. You wanna keep a really good eye on these guys because you don't want them to brown and lose their ghost-like appearance. Once they've cooled completely, you can use some black decorating gel to create little faces on them and make them extra spooky. I absolutely love these little guys. They're super adorable and of course, totally delicious. Next up, we are going to be tackling our no-bake mummy cake pops. The base for these beauties is Oreo cookie, so you know they're going to be delicious. So in my food processor, I have about 20 to 25 Oreo cookies, and to that I'm going to add some room temperature cream cheese. I'm going to blitz this all together and then roll the dough into small balls. The other important thing is don't use just the cookie crumbles. I know you can buy the cookie crumbles, but because we're not adding any sugar to this, you really need the cream filling to make this as delicious as it's going to end up being. Put those in the freezer for 20 to 30 minutes. While those guys are freezing, we're going to start melting our coating. Now, I'm using these handy white chocolate baking melts. These are super simple to work with, which is excellent because chocolate can be a little bit fickle. Now you wanna melt these slowly and just keep mixing away until they're fully melted. Once your cake pops have had a chance to firm up in the freezer, you're gonna take them out and then insert a stick or a straw into each of them. Then we're gonna take our cake pop and place it into our bowl of melted chocolate. And we wanna make sure we get the whole thing covered really beautifully. You wanna drain off any of your excess chocolate and then place your cake pops on a parchment lined baking sheet to set up. Once they've set up, you can create your mummy lines. So basically I'm just taking my spatula and then just creating a little bit of ridge texture along the surface. We call this the mummification of our cake pops. Once these have set completely, after about an hour, you can create adorable little faces on them using the same black decorating gel that I used with the ghosts. How cute are these? Oh, and did I mention, they are super tasty too. Finally, it's time to make our graveyard popcorn. I love this stuff because it's super simple to make and it's also super delicious. I've got some plain popcorn standing by on a parchment lined baking sheet. In my food processor, I've got some Oreo cookies standing by. I'm gonna give those a good pulse until I get them quite fine. And then over my double boiler, I'm going to melt more white chocolate. I'm gonna drizzle on the white chocolate and then top it with these beautiful cookie crumbs. And basically what you end up with is cookies and cream popcorn that you and your guests will be dying to eat. How fun are these recipes? All three of these tasty treats are perfect for a Halloween party. And if you want more tips and tricks for throwing an absolutely amazing Halloween bash, check out this video by my friend Sarah Glynn on Coral TV. Her ideas are absolutely gorgeous and are sure to wow your guests. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a safe and spooky Halloween. And of course, be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek for lots more deliciousness just like this.